Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the best new effect for podcasters in Adobe Audition CC 2018. And here we are. I've got a little sample of a podcast here. And if I go into my effects menu now, in the very latest version, Adobe Audition CC 2018, there is this new dynamics effect, which is really fantastic. As an old radio guy, I'm used to seeing everything I need, uh, noise gate, compressor, expander, limiter, all in one box or all in, in one rack strip. And now this is really what the dynamics effect gives me. It also gives me the opportunity to do things that I couldn't do very easily, now really easily inside one effect. Um, so for most podcasts, we want to get rid of background noise. So the auto gate is perfect for that. If I set the threshold to a certain level, let me just normalize this audio so it gets really uh, loud for you like that. There you go. And uh, we can say, okay, uh, looks like, uh, yeah, any audio below, below sort of, uh, let's say, well, my breaths are there. So any audio below around minus 18, uh, we want to cut out by the gate. And you'll see the gate will show whether it's enabled or not. Enabled. Hello, it's Mike. Oh, that's rather loud. Let's turn that down. Uh, but you see it goes green and yellow when it's in the hold phase where it's kind of just closing again. Hello, it's Mike, and welcome to a brand new podcast episode. And what the auto gate will do is essentially destroy any audio uh, before the gate opens. So you'll have absolute silence. Brilliant for a podcast. Let's have a look at spectral frequency display. And as you can see, it's doing a good job. Uh, let's just have a look there. As you can see in this version, the preview version, uh, completely uh, black and clear of audio and any background noise. But up here, you can see some background noise and maybe the slight whir of a fan. So auto gate is the first thing. Uh, then I can set up a compressor really easily. Let's switch this on. This is probably going to be quite good actually already. Uh, we'll just move the ratio up to maybe maybe just two to one for a podcast to just lightly compress that audio. As you can see, lightly compressed and it has expanded the quiet bits and pushed down the loud bits uh, to make it all much easier to listen to. Attack and release times of one millisecond and 50 milliseconds are pretty good. Um, and we can turn the makeup time up a little bit to increase the amplitude of the, uh, the new audio because obviously it's been compressed, it's been pushed down. We're just adding a little bit of makeup dB here, maybe five dB. And that's looking good. Uh, now, the expander works in an interesting way because the expander will basically downward expand uh, to get rid of any audio. So it's kind of almost uh, you can choose auto gate or expander, either or. You wouldn't necessarily have them both. I'll show you how the expander works. So switch off auto gate. You see the noise comes back. With an expander, I can say that I want to get rid of any audio. Uh, and let's let's set this up. Uh, so we'll turn this up really high to start with. Uh, turn it up to 0 dB threshold, uh, like that. And you can see that audio is getting through, but that's because I have not set the ratio up yet. Let's put the ratio up to something quite aggressive, like uh, 5 to 1. And you'll see uh, virtually everything has been downward expanded, essentially pushed out of the picture so you can't hear it, and the audio has virtually gone. Now, the more I move the threshold down, that's going to allow more audio to seep through that downward expander. There you go. There's my voice. Uh, but you'll see the background noise is virtually eliminated. Let's push that up a bit more. Get rid of some of the background noise there and some of the breaths. And you'll see when the expander is active, this red thing will light up here. The same as the compressor will light up. Let's play now. Hello, it's Mike, and welcome to a brand new podcast episode. As you can hear, the expander is working so hard, I'm not quite getting through it. So let's reduce the threshold a bit. Hello, it's Mike, and welcome to a brand new podcast episode. In and you can see it's working beautifully. Uh, when I'm speaking, it's only doing a little bit of work, but when I'm not, it's pushing all the audio out the picture uh, so you get complete silence. Beautiful podcast. And finally, if you're someone who likes a bit of hard limiting on their show, you can also add a limiter here. And uh, oh, that's, that's quite aggressive, isn't it? Uh, we'll turn that up a little bit. You can see that's very hard limited now basically shaving off any spikes. Uh, this would work really well if you had a really dynamic uh, vocal track that you'd recorded for your podcast and there were lots of spikes. You can just chop them off at a certain threshold, say uh, anything that spikes up uh, at above uh, 3 d uh, minus 3 dB uh, will be chopped off, you could say and then release after 50 milliseconds. Every time it's activated, it will highlight red here. Let me see if I can show you that. Hello, it's Mike and welcome. So as you can see, it's, it's activated all the time there. But what you'd want is you'd really want to set it so it's only activating for those little spikes that you get on clips every so often. Not many spikes here because uh, it's already quite well compressed, the voice here. Um, but if you do have a dynamically recorded microphone, uh, a limiter is going to do a lot of good. So uh, it's an all-in-one uh, kind of podcaster's toolkit, I would say. 
Go and investigate it, use it for yourself, and let me know how you get on with the new Dynamics effect in Adobe Audition CC 2018 in the comments to this video.